Hey YouTube, this is your own boy. Um, sorry about that, I had to move the camera. Um, pretty much, um, it's been a good holiday. I just kind of stayed it, stayed here Friday. I went to my mom's. Um, I stayed around the house most of the weekend. Um, I didn't really do much of anything other than maybe some. YouTube videos, you know, I'll make some more YouTube videos and everything for you guys. And um, now I keep my content going. Um, but like I said, you know, today is Monday. You know, I'm not at work. That's a plus. Um, but tomorrow is going to be a Monday, but it's just going to be. Feeling weird going back to work on a Tuesday. But the thing of it is, you know, I felt weird when I woke up this morning. And I just. I, I was just thinking on some things last night. And um, really, technically, I mean, what I was thinking on was why why do we love the things that we do you know why do we enjoy the things that we do you know to keep ourselves active keep ourselves moving in life um me on the other hand um you know, I feel like I've come a long way, you know, where I'm at in my life. But I feel like there's more to it than just living day-to-day -day life. I feel like I have a purpose. And I don't know what my purpose is, but... I feel like I have, I feel like I have a purpose. The reason why I say that is that even though you feel like you have a purpose on here on earth, but you got to realize on what your purpose is, what, what you have a goal in mind and everything else. Mine, mine is to spread fitness around the world. You know, to get them in some, you know, with people that are like me, you know, somebody that has physical problems, you know, they feel like, you know, they can't, you know, work out, they can't do things. Well, my thing of it is, I'm here to help people when it comes to, you know, going through problems like that, you know, somebody that, you know, has a handicapped leg or, you know, they have a robotic leg, you know, they can't really walk on it very well, but yet they want to do a sport, but they can't really do it because of their leg. Well, I'll tell them, you know, try it out. Get up and try it out. If you fail, get back up and do it again. Because eventually you can, there are people out there that have prostate, prostate legs. And they can do sports in their family. But it's not the same with the real leg. But, or even if they have surgeries on their backs, their feet, whatever it may be. You know, if they want, you know, to get strong, they want to get fit, you know, in some sort of way, you know, I can motivate them to, you know, encourage them to get back into shape. Because most people nowadays, they, whether it's sitting in front of the television all day, you know, lay around, do nothing, um, they don't want to train, they don't want to, excuse me, I didn't sleep very well last night, but, um, they don't want to get up and, uh, train. They don't want to get up and do anything. So, my thing of it is, 
If we can get people that are lazy to motivate themselves to do something, you know, even if it's like during commercial breaks on television, you know, there's a UFC fighter, I can't remember his name, but the reason why he said he how he got so jacked so big in all those games was through commercials when he was younger, um, he said he just started working out. He just started doing conditioning, body weights, like push-ups, or um, he would start doing setups. You know, every time through a commercial, and then when a the commercial was off, he would go back to sitting down and watch TV. And when another commercial came on, he got up and do something. He always stayed active. Then he became a pro USC fighter. So, really technically, you know, it's how you train, it's how you do things in life to get where you're at. And, um, I'm still trying to figure out my purpose. And, I don't know what it may be, but I, I'm trying to figure out my purpose on where I want to be at in life. And that way I can figure out um, if that's the right track I want to be. And so yeah, it, it's just that I'm just trying to figure out where I want to be at. In, in my life, uh, where I want to be at in my goals, um, I don't know really what my goals are yet, you know, I want to become, you know, famous, I want to, you know, become wealthy, even though money doesn't solve anything, but, you know, I really do want to become wealthy of a person, uh, but, that's just all dreams. That's just all real, not real. But there are ways to get that way if you want it bad enough. And that's my goal: is to get famous, is to, you know, be rich. That is my goal. And maybe, hopefully, eventually, later down the road, I might find that love of my wife. You know, to settle down. But, I'm just saying, you know, some things that, you know, I was just thinking on. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I'm not getting any old. I mean, I'm getting older, but I'm not getting younger. But even though I feel young, but I know I'm not young. And I'm 35, going on. 36 going going on the 40 mark in, in a few years I'm dreading that um, but yeah it, it's just what it is you know you gotta live life you gotta you gotta live it to the fullest you know and try not to think so much negative and like I said you know in my last video that I posted up I haven't posted it but it's it's about uh Guns kill people. Well, guns don't kill people. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say at in that video. Because uh, of the news media trying to portray that guns kill people. No, you know, no, they don't. Um, but the thing of it is, it's just the fact that on how they word it, um, that's what kind of irritates me the most. Um... But other than that, you know, life's good. You know, I'm getting healthier. I'm getting stronger every day. Uh, even though I need to kind of... I mean, I have two beers a night. But still, you know, um, I still kind of need to quit. Two beers ain't nothing. It's just... I really need to quit the drinking. But the thing of it is, is just that... 
it helps me sleep at night. And I use it as a, as a sleep aid to calm my mind. Because my mind is like everywhere at night. And it don't want it don't want to stay still. But it's like I said. It's like I said, people. It's just the fact that you know I'm trying to figure out where my life is going to be at, and hopefully real soon. Um, I hope I make it to the top. You know, I hope I you know become rich, successful. Um, that's my goal. And plus, on top of find someone to settle down with. So, uh, yeah, that's my purpose. That's my purpose in life. You know, help other people out. You know, that's the thing. You can get rich. This is one way of doing it. You can get rich by saving your money. I do know that. But you don't get rich fast enough. But, I have those... I have plans. Um, I'm going to achieve them one way or another, but I just don't know how I'm going to do it. But I am going to achieve it. And that's what I want to do. And I already have my mind set up. But I still, like I said, I still don't know what my purpose is yet but I'm trying to figure it out but I do want to spread fitness around the world I do want to you know try to get people get motivated to work out and stuff like that I said that is number one of my goals um, to do but if nobody is willing to give me a chance then how can I Pursue my fitness journey. I mean, I don't even have a diet. Um, most most athletic people, they have diets and everything. I mean, I don't even have a diet or anything. Diet plans. I mean, I just eat whatever, but I stay in shape. Um, me, I, I just try to bulk up more. Because really, I'm trying to get more muscle size. Get... If you get bulk, if you get, man, sorry for yawning, guys. Um, I just ate. Usually when I eat, I usually get tired. Because um, I'm full. But, um, but usually when you eat, you build, if you eat more, you gain muscle. But it's just on how you eat much you eat. Then... You don't get any weight. But the thing of it is, my problem is that I didn't quit eating so late at night. Before I go to bed. And then, getting snacks out of the vending machines so much. I mean, I've already tried, I'm already coming back to some on soda. But, I still have that one soda out of the day. But, you know, it's better than nothing, you know. You can, you can binge it in a once in a while, it's not all the time. You know, it's kind of like with alcohol. It's like, I, I binge it for once in a while, but not all the time. You know, if I'm not stressed out, or whatever, if I'm not pissed off, then I won't have it. But if I'm worried about something, or if I have something on my mind, Then, I will usually drink it just to calm down. But other than that, I mean, I pretty much um, am pretty much am healthy. I mean, I don't smoke anymore. I, I mean, I've been clean on drugs for... Let's see. 
going on seven years now. Um, but even though the alcohol is a drug, but it's the legal drug. Um, but there is, you know, really technically, there's more wrecks. Um, there's more car wrecks when it comes to drinking. Because people go to the bars, they drink. They leave the bar, they drive when they're intoxicated. Um, yeah, and they want to say, oh, alcohol is bad for you, but yet yeah, it's illegal. Well, but it's not illegal. Well, the thing with this, they didn't make it. They didn't make it. If people are getting in behind the car or driving, driving down the road while intoxicated, that person gets in the wreck. Well, they should make it illegal. Because, really, technically, alcohol is a substance. If you're opening it up in their car, it's illegal for you anyway. Because you're driving with substance in the car. But when you don't have it in the car, opened, the box opened, then it's not being a substance. But you're still taking the risk because you have the alcohol in your system. But the thing of it is, they don't make that illegal. The store's about to sell it. But you gotta have an ID for it to get it. Because if you're not of age, a Tennessee to not, you know, give it to you of the same age. But, oh well, it's what it is. This is how the world is, you know. But I've been cleaning off drugs for the hardcore drugs. Like, I wanna say, um, and I've done meth before. I've done cocaine once. Um, and I used to smoke uh, marijuana. I mean, but I've been clean for seven years and going on eight. I give myself a pat on the back for that has been almost three years of not smoking cigarettes another pat on the back but if I can get this drinking thing down then I'll be better but it's like I said hit the like hit the subscribe hit the bell notification you'll get all my videos and I'll see you in the next video 7.04, signing out. Peace.